Eritrea headed east. Hello and welcome. I am Afumia Yelio and this is News Analytica. In May 2023, Eritrea's president, Afraki, paid official visits to Russia and China, marking a significant shift in his country's foreign policy and potential implications for Africa, the US, neighboring countries and geopolitical dynamics in the Horn of Africa. Eritrea's geopolitical significance lies in its strategic location, bordering Ethiopia, Sudan, and the Red Sea, and its role as a key player in the region's political and military affairs. Eritrea's relations with its neighbors, particularly Ethiopia, have been historically strained due to a border dispute and allegations of supporting militant groups. However, recent diplomatic efforts have seen Eritrea inching towards more friendly relations with its regional counterparts, culminating in an agreement with Ethiopia in 2018 to end a two-decade-long conflict. President Afwerki's visits to Russia and China signal a policy shift towards strengthening ties with non-traditional partners in a bid to diversify Eritrea's geopolitical alliances. Russia and China are both strategic players in Africa, with interests ranging from natural resources to expanding global influence. President Afwerki's discussions in Russia reportedly focused on expanding trade and investment ties, while in China, he met with President Xi Jinping to discuss cooperation and infrastructure development and maritime security. The implications of Eritrea's outreach to Russia and China are complex and multifaceted. For Africa, the move signifies a shift towards a more multipolar world order, with traditional Western powers no longer dominating the continent's geopolitical landscape. This trend is in line with China's Belt and Road Initiative, which seeks to expand global trade and investment ties through infrastructure development. China has already invested billions in Africa's infrastructure projects, while Russia has also shown interest in expanding economic and military ties with Africa. For the US, Eritrea's new alliance could pose a challenge to its strategic interests in the region. Historically, the US has played a key role in the Horn of Africa, supporting regional stability through military alliance, aid, and diplomacy. However, recent US foreign policy has been characterized by a tendency to disengage from traditional alliances, creating a power vacuum in the region. China and Russia's growing presence in Africa could fill this void, potentially challenging US interests in the region. For neighboring countries such as Ethiopia and Sudan, the implications of Eritrea's new alliances are mixed. On one hand, economic ties with China and Russia could bring much needed investment and development to the region, on the other hand, the strengthening of Eritrea's military and political alliances could pose a potential threat to regional stability. Given the fraught history of Eritrea's relation with its neighbors, there is a high potential for renewed tensions with Ethiopia and Sudan. Overall, President Afwerki's visits to Russia and China mark a significant shift in Eritrea's foreign policy, a move towards multipolarity and Africa's geopolitical landscape. The potential implications of this shift are numerous and complex, posing both opportunities and challenges for countries in the region and beyond. As the global balance of power continues to shift, it remains to be seen how Eritrea's new alliances will play out in the Horn of Africa and beyond. That's it for today's news analysis and thank you for watching. Make sure you join us tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica.